we are unboxing an iPhone 16 underwater. Here we go, everyone. We are going to unbox this thing and turn it on underwater and then tear it down afterwards. But before we get into the video, I want to introduce you to today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Cell Helmet, and this is their wireless charger, 15 watt, in the wireless charging stand. Check it out on my description below. Thanks, Cell Helmet, for the great charger. I'm very excited to unbox this for you guys, but I'm also nervous because I'm going to be the first person to take it apart and post it online. All right, so we'll pull off these pull tabs, and then we will open this thing up. It is sealed shut i don't know the adhesive from the pull tabs and it fully undo i was having a hard time pulling this apart underwater and i just keep holding it underwater and it some air bubbles come out so i think it's actually waterproof inside there so we'll just drop the phone right in dang that charger is probably broken well let's uh just worry about the phone because it's probably the most expensive part of this whole deal all right, well, you can see inside there is wa water, not inside. You can see air inside when you turn over the phone just like that. And I'm going to pull off the screen protector thing, and it is uh, peeling off pretty bad here. I don't, I'm don't. i kind of worried I broke the screen at this point, and I actually end up getting it off, but it's very anticipating. I'm, I don't know. I was worried I wasn't going to get it off and have to replace the screen already on this thing. All right, we'll turn it on, see if it turns on. Turns on! It's turning on. So far. Let's see if it turns on all the way. Still waiting to, for it to turn on. I don't know if it's going to turn on at all. I really don't know if this is going to work or not. Turns on, no touch underwater let's take it out of the water and see if there's touch there's touch wow all right put it back in touch underwater nope oh what the heck it, is, it looks like it's selecting things with the water drips uh, going across the screen but now it's touching just fine like underwater taking out of water like it seems to be perfect like it this thing could fall in your toilet anytime. You can still pick it up and use it. All right. Well, we'll see if it'll connect to Wi-Fi underwater. It probably won't. Um, that's just how Wi-Fi works. I don't think it works in underwater. So the Wi-Fi doesn't work underwater. I had to take it out, reconnect it to my Wi-Fi. Then I decide we're just going to take this thing apart and take a look inside the phone and see if there's any water i don't want any corrosion inside of it roasting the board up destroying my investment i need this thing to make videos with look there's water in the charge port woo i wonder if there's water inside well we'll grab our p2 screwdriver and get ready to unscrew the two screws on the bottom and i bet we're going to have to just take off the back of the phone, just like the iPhone 14 and 15. And we'll find out in the video here. And I'm going to heat up the back. And I uh, just wanted to let you guys know, it did start glitching out. And I had to use the uh, uh, force restart to turn it off before I did the repair. Because touch stopped working on the screen after I put it in water, unboxed it in water. We'll grab our P2 or Penelope 2 star bit and unscrew the two screws on the bottom just like so and then we will uh turn on our heating pad and heat it up for about 10 20 minutes it took me a little longer and i had to use some extra heat i normally use the apple oem screen remover tool but i didn't have that handy here um while i made the you guys this video we are going to heat it all up right now on the back side of the phone because we're going to pry off the back and to do that we want it to be too hot to touch if it's not too hot to touch it's not hot enough but if you, it's burning hot touch you're going to break something but just saying you would want the field temperature to be like too hot to touch to be ready to pry it off if you really like my saying there i did make a t-shirt 
You can check out my merch on my merch shop. Buy the shirt that says Too Hot to Touch. I'll link in the description all the tools I'll use during this video. I got this little screw bit holder for the iFixit screw bits. And this is just for iPhones and I have another one for MacBooks and I'm just continuing to make more. And then you'll want a suction cup. You're going to want a plastic pry tool for this. And um, you're going to want a metal pry tool, so a plastic spudger, bended tweezers, straight tweezers, and that's about it. Oh yeah, you'll want some alcohol and um, some adhesive removing substance all right let's get into it go grab a suction cup to pull off the back after you heat it up you can use a heat gun too if it's just not too hot and um get your metal pry tool and just stick it down on the bottom right in between where the two p2 screws are and then you'll just make a little slit for you to get a plastic pry tool underneath the back glass and work your way around the edges just like all the other iPhones. We'll speed it up a little bit. Just remember to take your time while you're doing this. You don't want to break anything. Especially I don't want to break anything because I uh, just bought this phone. All right, so we will work our way around the edges. The cables are down on that side, so you're going to, on the camera side, you're going to lift it up on and then open it up from the left to the right. The cameras are always the hardest part on any iPhone to get around. And you just open it up just like that, and we can see inside there is no standing water after we unboxed it underwater and it stayed on and stayed working, and it looks like there's no water inside at all. But we're going to still do the full tear down and find out if there is any so just stay tuned to the video here and we'll take off the back glass remove these two y triple zero screws that are holding down the battery connection and the back glass so we'll get those removed once those are removed then you can grab out a spudger or your finger and push off the bracket and the plus sign minus sign connection is obviously the battery you can just follow the battery up here, and then it is this one. I'm trying to get it with my plastic pry tool, but I decided that with my fingers, I could grab it just fine uh, with my fingernail and just pull it off. It was just the best angle to do it. Same goes for the back glass connection. So I disconnect it with my finger as well, and then I'm able to lift it off. Perfect. And the flashlight's on there, and the wireless charging pad. You want to remove the three PH triple zero screws and the one Y triple zero screw to remove the bracket holding down all the other connections. Grab out your plastic spudger and just start disconnecting everything. We're disconnecting the charge port and the microphone right here. And then we'll work our way around the board disconnecting everything and finding out new things about the iPhone 16. Just like thinking about how the front camera is really easy to disconnect and take out on this one. And then the ear speaker and also 5G antenna is quite easy to take out but you'll have to unscrew some stuff to take it fully out and you'll want to unscrew all that to take out the board as well. So we'll want to remove these five PH triple zero screws holding down the ear speaker and the 5G antenna or your cell phone antenna. Next, remove the three PH triple zero screws holding down the rear camera. Now you'll remove these 
three PH000 screws holding down the Taptic engine. And we're getting ready to take out the battery. So we'll grab out our PH000 screwdriver again and unscrew the loudspeaker. There's a couple standoff screws that I don't unscrew that hold down the microphone for the charge port and the charge port itself. And I just wanted to note that, but I didn't take it out because I'm just trying to take out the battery so I can take out the motherboard, main board, logic board. They have these pull tabs on the battery and it did not work for me at all. Like I tried and tried and tried and I just gave up and I used some alcohol and a plastic pry tool to just gently pry out the battery and I got it out just fine. All right, so now we will uh, grab out our standoff screwdriver and unscrew the three screws holding down the board. You also want to check around for any additional connections that might have not got disconnected, just like this little tiny Wi-Fi antenna. I think that's what it is, or Bluetooth or something, some sort of antenna. And uh, you're going to want to remove that. And then there is uh, right above the... I'm not quite sure what that is. Some sort of heat shield thing. It's getting held down on the very bottom of the board, kind of by the charge port. And there's a Y000 screw there and um, a PH000 screw. Then you can lift up the board on the side the cameras are on. And it looks like I am missing one other screw. And it's just this little piece of plastic. You got to take that out too to get the board all the way out. And so you can lift up the board and you just get a little bit of a wiggle on all edges of the board. And then you'll tilt it on its side and lift it out on its side and be very gentle to not pull it. And look, there is some liquid damage, but I'm not quite sure. I think it could be the alcohol just not evaporated yet off the, from removing the battery. Uh, we'll take a quick uh, look at that when we get this thing out and it's a Y000 screw on each side of the um, connectors and you can just pull it out just like that we got the board there's the tear down everyone please like and subscribe sorry it got so boring anyways it's just educational so now everyone knows how it comes apart I was thinking about it here that little heat shield thing I was talking about by the board is probably actually just a SIM card slot for foreign countries that still have the SIM card because in America, for some reason, we all have eSIMs. I want to learn more about the eSIMs while I have these uh, iPhone 16s here. I have another one where I'm going to take parts from it and put it in the other and I'll have a whole other detailed teardown of that one. And I'm just going to have a whole ton of videos with this iPhone 16 we got here. And it'll be very informationable. Uh, I don't know what words I'm saying. I've been doing this all day long. I tried to post this in less than 24 hours. And I did it. And it was worth it.